John Cook by himself. Let's do it. <laughs> by himself. Why did I say it like that? Anyway, let's do it. Hello wonderful humans of the internet, how are we? My name is Sam Scott Thorne and I am a vocal coach based in Glasgow. Now if you'd like to meet and explore your voice a little more, you can find me on sstvocals.com. You can also find me on Patreon and various other social media platforms and I'll put the handles down below and over there. There. That sounded like a really old ghost dog barking. Either you, either you think that or you don't. <laughs> I'm guessing most don't. Anywho, if you'd like to consider becoming a patron, you have access to things like early release of reactions, you can fast track reactions, become a reaction, the special rules of my Discord server, and you have access to all sorts of bonus content, like my Vocal Anatomy 101 series, where you learn how the voice works, and other things like rants and all sorts. So consider becoming a patron and help shape my channel. Okay, so we are back on a wee bit of a BTS journey while they're all away doing military service, and I have been pointed firmly in the direction of John Cook singing Standing Next to You. This is on Jimmy Fallon's show, so we're going to go and take a listen to it. I said in the last BTS video that I did that uh, he did a song with Usher, and I think this is the song, but apparently Usher's only in the remix, and I was told not to listen to the version with Usher. Um, I don't know why. What are you hiding from me? But we're going to go and listen to him doing it by himself anyway. But I do love Usher. I mean, he has a whole song that teaches you a dance. You know, the U-turn. If you don't know what the U-turn is, then I am old. <laughs> anyway, let's just go and listen to Standing Next to You and see what we think. Here with the TV debut of his song, Standing Next to You. Is he wearing a see-through shirt or have they just painted his body? That's quite an album cover, JK. Putting us to shame. His new album, Golden, give it up for John Cook! To all the girls, they are excited! Before he's even started singing, this song is already golden. It's got like elements of disco. It's got a funky bass line, which is just right up my street. This is gonna be good. I know it. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna have to try and like hear him through the screaming justified screaming i mean he is really a pop star person personified already tripping over my words the dancing is slick he commands the stage but we're here to talk about his voice not about him as a performer well we'll get to performance i'm sure anyway shut up sam so we've got these lovely elongated phrases it's like -da -da. it kind of just sets the tone it gives the slick kind of almost drag to the song. I absolutely love it. It's very, very clean. It's not so pushed. It's quite relaxed and there's a tiny bit of aspirate tone coming through. So you get a wee bit of air onto that. But for the most part, it's just got this really lovely JK stamp of cleanliness. Do you know what it actually reminds me of is um, Deja Vu by Beyonce. Baby, da -da -da, every time I look at you, I see you. Baby, sing like everywhere I go, I see you. That's what it reminds me of. That first little letter. Anyway, shut up, Sam. Oh, nice little riff there. True. It was just a lovely wee cascading riff. One, two, three, four, five. I think, oh, troll. Control, I think was the word. Really, really nice. Very well controlled. Ha, <laughs> pun, ding, ding. Just a wee lick of a run in there, just to show that he has got really, really fine control in amongst all these lovely, long, drawn out phrases. 
it's it's a clever clever setup the way that all these vocals are kind of organized <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he's done this almost like think of it like a peak. He's gone chest voice, chest voice, head voice, head voice, and then he's gone up into this head voice and stayed on it, and then he's coming back down into his chest voice. It's a really, really good way to make a shape through the song. So, so it's like doing this. I don't know if this makes sense to anyone out there, but like I see shapes when I hear sound. Um, and this is just a peak and a dip into this like lovely airy kind of light space between these two heavy spots. Just really, really well laid out. I love it. <laughs> okay <laughs> right so there we hit this kind of more pushed place it was much more um colloquial it was more of like a chanty shout almost so you weren't getting any tilt off the thyroid you were getting pure belt it was just him kind of drumming it into you it was really really forceful and very very direct the way that he again it's the way that this song is set up there's these swimmy lovely kind of drawn out bits and then there's these like bap bap baps it keeps you interested the whole way through and if you weren't focusing on the vocals he's doing it with his dancing as well the dancing is impeccable i would have to be taken away on a stretcher after doing approximately 37 seconds of dancing the way he's done it i wouldn't even make 37 seconds i'd make 3.7 seconds let's be let's be honest with ourselves dancing impeccable singing impeccable really really good job <laughs> This has nothing to do with singing. I just want to pose this question to people that have been in boy bands and whatnot and they go solo. Do they find it a comfort having backing dancers that are almost in the equal number to the groups they came from? Is there something in that? Is it like a like a wee comfort blanket being like, I need my boys? And they're like, well, we can give you six backing dancers. <laughs> How's that? And you go, okay, I'll take it. Is, is that a thing? I don't know. Really nice, very, very light head voice, but it had a bit of twang on it, so it sounded super, super pointed. When you add in a little bit of oral twang, what you're getting is a pressurized sound that thickens up the vocal folds where they would naturally be thinning out up in that end. Um, so you get a lot more of a punch off of that sound. So a very, very clever use of twang in order to bolster what would be quite a light sound up there. <laughs> I love that bit. <laughs> so you can see when he's attacking some of these phrases, he's really baring his teeth, he's getting that brightness out of sound, out of the mouth shape, that snarl almost. I mean, you can't help but have more of an attack when you're doing this kind of look. There's like, there's different characters to this sound. I've not seen the music video, but it would be like, to me, if I was envisioning a music video, he would be playing separate characters. What the hell have I done here? He'd be playing like separate characters. There'd be like a slick one. There'd be like a more aggressive one. There'd be the dancey one, the pop star one. Like they're just, his voice is inhabiting different characters as he goes through the song. And there's like licks and shades of almost different people in there. I like it. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> oh, right. The only reason you would put a microphone down is if you're gonna dance. He has been he's been doing the dancing. So what's <laughs> what's coming up? Right, hold on. Poker face. <laughs> so again i once was the choreographer of bts in my mind and i just have to say very very good down to like turning your legs into like a fan um the, the, he moved his arm so fast that i couldn't actually see what was happening i feel like he could possibly rob me seven times before i'd realized that anything was missing with hands that fast so, so you know if times ever get tough jk you could go into a side business as the artful dodger <laughs> i have no words <laughs> So this is like paying homage to musical idols. Obviously there is a Michael Jackson element in there because that is Michael Jackson down to the ground. You can almost see like the way that the stage is set up. It looks very like the Soul Train. Um, th that was a very, very old um, TV show. Go back and have a look at that. You'll see all the elements um, from this uh, performance. There's callbacks here. He knows his history. He knows his uh, references and it's paying off like this is cool oh i did it again what is with me like saying blah, 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 right before the end of a track it's when youtube videos go on for a wee bit and i can see the the like thing i think oh there's more song but it's not it's just like the end title screens <sighs> so irritating I apologize. Anyway, that was fun. He is off to a roaring start with the whole solo stuff. That song is dynamite. <laughs> no, dynamite is dynamite. Th th this song is great. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Um, if there are more suggestions for JK, pop them down below, but also give me some more suggestions for what the others are doing on their own and group stuff. Um, I think I'm gonna go and have a look at V doing the tiny desk because that comment has come up a lot. Um, and also some Jameen stuff. Jin we have not had solo stuff from yet, but he's the first to come out of military service. So I'm sure he'll be right on the back of that horse as soon as he is out. But anyway, in the meantime, send me some stuff. And if you like that reaction, give it a like and a thumbs up down below. And if you want to see more from me, hit subscribe, ring the bell, and anytime I have new content, you will be the first to know. So I guess all that's left for me to say is thank you so much for joining me. And how are we gonna buy this one? <laughs> I don't know, cause I can't dance. <laughs> so I guess all that's left for me to say is thank you so much for joining me. And um, uh, if you like this video, then won't you subscribe? <laughs> that's all I've got. I'm giddy with choreography brain. Anyway, bye. Love you. Bye.